there are a lot of models about reconnection right now, and they all make certain assumptions because we don't really know what's happening. If we could solve the problem to the point where we wouldn't have to make assumptions anymore, and we knew, okay, is it the uh, electrons that somehow uh, move in certain ways that allow the magnetic fields to reconnect, or is it the ions that move in some different ways that create currents that cause the uh, field lines to reconnect. We know it's one of these things, or one of several things, and uh, what we don't know which. But the measurements we're making at such, are at such fine scales that there won't have to be another mission after this. Whatever is happening, we'll know, because the finest scales that exist, this is down to the electron scales, we're measuring. And so unless it was some quantum mechanical phenomenon, which it isn't, uh, we won't have to do this again. That's what's exciting about it. Okay, for me it was school. I like math, I like science, but it really was physics that I liked. Some fields like geology and biology had to memorize too many terms. Didn't like to memorize anything. I just like to be able to figure out problems. The physics really is applied math. So you go through high school, my favorite subject, I went to college, so I'll major in that. But I find out that uh, if you're majoring in science, especially physics, you're on a path to research. You're doing it because you want to learn new things. You can't learn new things on your own. You need help, you need funding, you need other people uh, working with you. And you learn this uh, in graduate school. I went to Rice University, and there, right during the space program, it had just gotten going really well. And as students, we were able to build our own satellites, rockets, and actually do research and learn new things. That's what got uh, me excited. So I wanted to do that as a career. And I was able to through this MMS is not my first mission. We've done several missions. And, but MMS is the hardest one. And it will be the best one because it'll be a final result on an important phenomenon. Not just learning more, but solving the problem. Well, you've got to decide that you're curious and really want to learn new things. Once you do, then you have to take the hard courses and you have to do well. And not only that, but you have to, to be interested in science outside the classroom as well. And if you can find a mentor, whether you find it in high school, as I did, my physics teacher, or you find it later on in graduate school, my advisor, a mentor who can guide you so that you actually know how to do something rather than learn about something, then you can make it. But you have to do well because the fallout rate is high and uh, some people don't have the persistence to make it and some people maybe don't want to study hard enough to make it. I think anybody can if they're motivated. 